Welcome back to Las Vegas. Now for this month's So Vegas segment, we're going on a Valentine's date that will keep your appetite for love flying sky high. Mm, mm, mm. Your Valentine's Day could be finger licking good. So finger licking foodie tours has been around for two years. Uh, we have them all over Las Vegas and Henderson over at different resorts, downtown Summerlin, uh, downtown Las Vegas in the Arts District. Basically, it's a dining experience where you get to go to three of the top restaurants in a vicinity uh, without any waiting for your, your tables. Uh, you get to try each restaurant's most famous dishes. Well, this vicinity is a virgin hotel. Uh, the restaurants here on property at Virgin Hotels are all very different, eclectic, all top-notch in their own genre. People are always looking to impress their date, uh, and especially for locals, you know, they want sometimes never get out in their own backyard. So with this curated experience, they don't have to think. They just show up to the restaurant, everything's set up for them, no waiting for their table. As soon as they're seated, hopefully they're on the optional beverage package. They have a craft cocktail waiting for them, and then they get to try the signature dishes from each restaurant. This this is the Finger Lickin' Foodie Tour's savor and sore experience, and after you eat, your date ends up on top of the strip. I'll explain that later. First, let's savor. Good evening. Welcome to Olives. Thank this is you. Andy. He's the general manager of Olives. All right, Andy, this is the first stop on the experience. So what kind of first impression are you guys making? Great. Well, thank you very much for coming by and hanging out with me at Olives. Mm -hmm. uh, first impression, non-pretentious exciting and romantic place to have uh, an enjoyable meal. Okay, and what are we eating here? What kind of food? Oh, well, these are Todd English's signature dishes that we present. I've yeah. heard all about this before, the, about you. This is the number one dish that people <laughs> yeah. come to Olives for right now. This is the carpaccio, um, thinly sliced beef, um, and then three different sauces. We've got a balsamic reduction, a scallion cream, and then a garlic aioli. I want you to try and get everything all in one bite. Okay. And so you cut into it kind of like a, a, a pie, if you okay. will. So, so teach me. Okay. For so, example, if you were on yeah. a date here at Olives, you uh, might have to teach yeah, me so how fork, to do it. Yeah, so fork, stab the fork right in the middle. Okay. And then basically cut that right down like you were cutting a slice of cake or a pie. All right. And you're going to cut right through the greens and right through that polenta cake. Mm. And then you kind of just roll it up and eat it all in one bite. And, and yeah, it could mm. be a little messy, but that's also part of the fun. And it's just, a, it's just an outstanding bite of food. You're getting a second date with this dish. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to stop number two on the Savor and Solar Tour. This is Night Market. Oh, we're a little bit more fun, exciting by it is the way to put it. Uh, we don't look like a typical restaurant, and that's what kind of makes us more fun. Okay, so why these three dishes? The spicy egg rolls are a really good representation of, obviously, a date night. They're meant to be shared. They're meant to be enjoyed. Uh, they can go both vegan, vegetarian. They kind of work the same way on that. So it kind of hits all that. It's a good way to start your dish. Yeah, so spice then, it up a little bit. Yeah, and then, of course, you can't go anywhere without having a chicken pad thai. Right. But... Well, you do ours a little differently. So if you were actually in Bangkok and you're walking through the market late at night and you go get a hawker sand chicken pad thai, this is what you'd get. It would be filled in a little box for you, peanuts on the side, a little sweet. Yeah, the noodles are ready to go. That's the best shot of it. There we go. But it's got a nice little presentation. It allows you to enjoy a big dish, but not super hearty. And then, of course, you've got the orange wine. And it goes great with all three dishes. Wow, I've never had natural wine. You've never had, oh, you're going to love it. Shall we? Shall we? Cheers to Night Market. Now, last but certainly not least, why is one steakhouse <laughs> the grand finale on Savor and Sword? Outside of being a beautiful restaurant, right. I mean, steak, seafood, you know, why wouldn't it be the end of, the, of a very romantic meal? These are definitely the fan favorites, we feel. Um, they represent the restaurant great. They represent a steakhouse great. Um, and then, of course, you know, a beautiful chocolate cake. You got to finish it strong. It's a beautiful three-layer cake. Now, chocolate is an aphrodisiac, so you end with a little dessert courage to soar into love. Typically, the last restaurant at the steakhouse is when they'll drop on one knee. We've had a few uh, proposals, matter of fact. Uh, they always ask, you know, when's the best time to do something like this? I always suggest do it at the final restaurant. Uh, it's a romantic steakhouse. And then before that, you're boarding the Maverick helicopter flight to really just finish the evening off. Yep, love is in the air on this foodie tour. Literally. Okay, just got takeoff clearance. Here we go. Ready or not? You know, it's, uh, it's absolutely beautiful up here, especially at night. Uh, definitely the best way to see the city. So uh, a lot of proposals out here. That's probably the, the most romantic it gets. We actually do weddings up here, which is uh, pretty, pretty epic. Now the only thing I'm missing is a glass of champagne. Well, it's being served on Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. It comes with. That's beautiful. 
And what comes next? Well, that's up to you.